Water by Robert Lowell is a nostalgia of the times they yearned for freedom, but in the end, they could not handle the pressure. It was a Maine lobster town. Each morning, boatloads of hands pushed off for granite quarries on the islands and left dozens of bleak, white, frame houses stuck like oyster shells on a hill of rock. And below us, the sea lapped the raw little matchstick mazes of a weir where the fish for bait were trapped. Remember, we sat on a slab of rock from this distance in time, it seems the color of iris, rotting and turning purpler. But it was only the usual gray rock, turning the usual green when drenched by the sea. The sea drenched the rock at our feet all day, and kept tearing away flake after flake. One night you dreamed you were a mermaid clinging to a wharf pile and trying to pull off the barnacles with your hands. We wished our two souls might return like gulls to the rock. In the end, the water was too cold for us. The Old Flame by Robert Lowell. The speaker, having recently lost his wife, is reminiscing on his old life with her and how it came to an end. My old flame, my wife, remember our list of birds? One morning, last summer, I drove by our house in Maine. It was still on top of its hill. Now a red ear of Indian maize was splashed on the door. Old glory, with thirteen stripes, hung on a pole. The clipboard was old red, schoolhouse red. Inside, a new landlord, a new wife, a new broom. Atlantic seaboard antique shop, pewter and plunder shown in each room. A new frontier, no running next door now to phone the sheriff for his taxi to bath and the state liquor store. No one saw your ghostly imaginary lover stare through the window and tighten the scarf at his throat. Health to the new people, health to their flag, to their old restored house on the hill. Everything had been swept bare, furnished, garnished, and aired. Everything's changed for the best. How quivering and fierce we were. They're snowbound together, simmering like wasps in our tent of books. Poor ghost, old love, speak with your old voice of flaming insight that kept us awake all night, in one bed and apart. We heard the plow groaning up the hill, a red light, then a blue, as it tossed off the snow to the side of the road.